But yeah. you know what I'd like to know, Frank, and you may have the answer. Why did the chief of police of the Toronto Metropolitan Police Force resign? Well, the rumor is, and it's a rumor, and I don't know this for a fact, that, that, that Doug Ford put a lot of pressure on the mayor to, to get rid of him. Really? You know, I don't know if that's true. That's, you know, the, the truth is, the truth is uh, you know, uh, who knows? But as, from what I know, in my modest thing, is the mayor is the boss of the police chief. So the mayor works for the police, uh, the police chief works for the mayor. Yeah, I know that. But why would Doug Ford do that? There must be something to well, it. There had to be something I, 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 I don't know. I, do, I, I really have no clue. Uh, or, or the mayor was not happy with uh, the, the handling of some, uh, some cases. I have no clue. No. I, I, I thought Saunders was a decent... Um, well, there's, there's rumors that they're cutting back 10% of the Toronto police. Well, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Well, that, that's not good that for uh, a, a city that uh, the urban sprawl is, is, is out of control, and I, I think they will have to rethink it. Right. They'll have to rethink it. Any, anyway, any, anyways, uh, I don't know. I was quite surprised this contract uh, was good for another two years. Well, they would have paid him out. That's... No, his, he resigned. They didn't fire him. He's not, they're not going to pay him out. Well, if he resigned, maybe they had a, he had a deal that he'd be collecting a certain yeah. amount of money. Well, if he resigned, well, I, I don't know what the how, how his resignation is. He resigned. I mean, he had a pretty, a pretty um, extreme kidney transplant. Yes, he did. And and maybe he, 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 might have been his life, he decided maybe there is no uh, conspiracy that Ford or 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 the mayor of of, uh, of Toronto uh, got rid of him. Maybe he's just uh, uh, at that stage of his life where if he says fuck it, who needs it? Yeah. I mean, it's pretty stressful to be a cop, let alone a police chief. Yeah. So he's leaving eight months before his contract was going to expire in 2021. Yeah, that's a little odd. And he did not give a reason for the departure. No. Yes, he did. He well, said no, I'm reading right he, now. On the... Because he's at a point now where he needs to look after himself and he wants to spend time with his family. Okay. And he's uh, looking he... at other things at this stage. That's what he said. I listened. I listened to him say that. Well, he said he's been working for over 37 years. It just sort of came out of nowhere, right? But well, not not nowhere. I mean, maybe he's got an opportunity right now, and he has to leave right now, and he can't stay another eight months, and maybe he'll lose this opportunity. That's the other thing. Yeah. Who knows? I mean, they knew. They basically said uh, the innuendo was that we're not going to renew his contract. Yeah, yeah, with eight months left on it. Yep. Yeah, they weren't going to renew it, so I don't know. I don't know. I mean, our 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 city for a city which is basically the same size size as Chicago, uh, we we have. I mean, we have murders, but they're like minuscule compared to Chicago's. And you know why, Frank? We have a great police force. Yeah, well, that's and, that's and not everyone has guns. The racism in Chicago is yeah. significant because of the systemic racism we talked about. They're 100%. Yeah, they, also, also they don't, I mean, Toronto, uh, the, cops the way I, I look at it, the Toronto uh, uh, police force, uh, they police all of Toronto, not just the rich area. That's right. You know, and, and that's why I believe that uh, Toronto is one of the safest and most beautiful places in the world. I have huge respect for the police. I think, uh, unfortunately, uh, humanity needs rules. If we don't have rules, um, we fuck up, and uh, that's why we have locks on our door. You know, that's why we. I have remember when I was a child, my, we used to leave money, paper money, real money, in the milk box for the milkman, and nobody ever came to the milk box and stole that money. Right. And very rarely did we lock the doors. 